Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and back by popular demand. <laughs> Miss Stony Ridge. Miss Stony Ridge. No longer Mrs. Stony Ridge, but Miss Stony Ridge. <laughs> Guys, we'll stick to the end of the video. Uh, at the end, we'll talk a little bit about what's going on and how our relationship has evolved over the last year. We are divorced. We are. At this point, uh, but we're back together. We're back dating and Mrs. Stony Ridge has taken more of an interest in the farm and what's going on here so without further ado today's project is getting this all seeded so this area right here is where the power company just ran the primary power line up to the mega shop the mega shop is right up there it's a 112 by 50 gigantic shop building guys today's going to be fun it's going to be work we're going to be driving little tractors we're going to be picking up rocks and we're going to put grass seed and straw down on all this so we don't have any kind of erosion problem and we're racing the rain there's a lot of rain coming so let's have some fun you ready yeah let's do it i ain't afraid of work i ain't afraid of play I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life in times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. All right, guys, we're going to leave Mrs. Stony Ridge behind here to recreate on the back of the Kubota. We're going to show you guys what we have going here. So I bought grass seed in anticipation of this back in the day when grass seed wasn't so expensive. So I've got three bags of grass seed, which should be plenty for this. We'll put Kentucky 31 fescue seed on this right here. If I had it, and I may end up picking some up, a little bit of annual ryegrass would do a good job here too. So what we've got is not only an area that there's a trench underground, but we've got rocks. So you can see there are rocks all over the place, just like this. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. At some point, this may be a driveway. So basically, I've gotta get all of these rocks up. We're gonna bring Little T, the TYM 254 tractor down here in the bucket, and we'll roll our rocks over into our bucket. Anything that that can't handle, we'll have the skid steer handle that. But the skid steer is up on the other side of the farm, getting ready to start building more fence. So we've got about 50 more acres to fence. Now, if you look, you'll see We've got quite the path here, okay? I've been riding over it with the Kubota over and over and over again, and it won't hurt to drive on top of that grass seed, but as you can see, it goes all the way to this pole. So it goes quite a distance right here. Grass will sprout up through here. This is just soil on top of grass, so we're not really worried about that. However, we are worried about what I call bush hog busters and lawnmower busters. So we've got to pull, oh, these rocks out of here. Okay, we gotta pull all that out of here and we'll run over this quite a bit with the Kubota and help smooth it out. So loading up rocks and getting the job done. Sometimes farming's romantic and sometimes it's not. Most of the time it's not. So let's get busy. So we went and got the TYM little T254 tractor. This is gonna be the machine that we use to pick up most of the rocks. It rained on us and you can tell it got a little slick, a little snotty. There is a specific way that I need to go about this, okay? So we've gotta go through, we gotta pick up the rocks. That's the main thing. We'll go through, pick up the rocks, anything that might catch on a bush hog or might catch on uh, the lawn tractor or the zero turn and We've got to go back through, put the grass seed down, and then come back through after that and put down the straw. The two types of grass seed that we're going to be putting down, it's two different types because one hits fast and the other one hits kind of slow. So in other words, the fescue will take about 7 to 15 days to germinate and we're using a annual rye grass that'll take about two days to germinate. So we'll instantly see results growing up through here. If we didn't put straw on it, we'd run the risk of erosion. So we we'll wanna put straw on so it retains moisture and it's supposed to rain again tonight, which should be absolutely perfect. We've got some challenges here with rocks 
basically everywhere. So we've probably got an hour of rock pickup duty to do prior to doing anything. And I'll come down the hill with my cedar and then I'll go back up the hill with the other grass seed and then we'll start at the top and work our way all the way down this hill. I don't need to worry about it out here. I need to worry about it where it's going to erode, okay? Out through here, the grass will sprout right back. It'll be just fine. It'll close back in and it'll look great. But if we got enough straw, I'll go ahead and do it all the way to the pole. boots weigh anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah solid 10 more pounds on yeah <laughs> guys it <laughs> it got sticky out here so next step basically all I'm gonna do is put my uh, grass seed in and I'm gonna seed and after I seed she's gonna be coming in behind me and shaking out straw and then I'm gonna join her and we'll continue to shake out straw so let's get wrapping up on that <laughs> this <laughs> is a job good. So what I'm using right here is just a bag type cedar. It's a pain in the butt tops to get seed into this bag type cedar appropriately. Okay, so uh, it opens, a little window opens with this little critter right here. And basically I just have to hold it. This thing is old. This is what I first started seeding on the farm when we first moved up here. So the easiest way I have found to do this is I've got this big pot that I got at the Goodwill. Open up my seed. This is our ryegrass seed. You can't really tell a difference at all in the annual ryegrass seed versus the fescue seed. There's really no difference in what it looks like. The seed is really, really expensive. So that's why we're so careful to not waste any seed if we possibly can. We'll open this guy up and we'll pour our seed into our bag seeder. Notice I'm not doing this over the driveway because I know I'm going to spill seed and I just don't want to spill seed anywhere that I don't want grass to grow. If we have any left, we'll put it out in the cow pasture and let it sprout and give the cow some awesome winter forage. So I'll pull this little tab and then out comes the seed. Right, Mrs. Stony Ridge? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> frustration oh man so what happened oh we got rained out we got and rained I, out I twice on a puddle of rain. twice <laughs> twice she's like i'm gonna go get my rain gear i'm like we can't <laughs> there's no look at this guys you can't oh uh, you can't do anything with that red so, muck mud <laughs> yep so all we were doing right there is just basically uh digging trenches with our feet <laughs> uh and it's supposed to rain for the next two days this was an unexpected shower so ugh. well guys <laughs> thanks for joining us in an attempt to get something done on the farm today but i think really this video is more of uh reintroducing miss stony ridge <laughs> back to the farm and i think we owe you guys an explanation if you've been following the channel for years now i've been uh, on social media we've been on social media for about seven years now mm -hmm. and i think it's important that you guys know and understand that 
we have been trying desperately to get along. I'm not the easiest person to get along with, I'll admit it. Sometimes she frustrates the bejesus out of me. Uh, I mean, that's just it. Uh, sometimes I'm sure I frustrate the bejesus out of you, right? You do, and I think that's what relationships are all about, right? Yeah. But for us, it's about getting through those moments together yep. and, and still loving each other at the end of the day and not giving up on each other. Well, I don't think we've <laughs> ever had a question of love. Let's just talk yeah. to everybody about this. Okay. So in our relationship, we were together for, we were married for seven years. Yep. We've been fully divorced for one year this month. Yep, right? coming up. Mm -hmm. So we didn't quite make it a full year being divorced before we knew that, uh, well, we just knew that it wasn't right. I don't know. Tell me, what do you think? I think we got to a point in our relationship where we just, we weren't getting along and we couldn't figure out how to be on this same path and do things together. Yeah. And it got to the point where you were frustrated with me and I was frustrated with you. And maybe well, it wasn't just frustration. There was it wasn't just frustration that drove this and drove us apart. Uh, there, I mean, I'll be totally honest with you, and I've, I've been honest with you before, and I'm honest with you now. Mm -hmm. And knowing coming back here, uh, we both have a set of ground rules that we both need to stick to. Yeah. Um, I had trust issues, uh, and you know that, and I know that, and now they know that. Uh, my trust issues were pro probably brought on a lot by myself, uh, by maybe being a little too hard on you. Um, and this is a major undertaking. I mean, starting a first generation farm is a major undertaking. We have to lean on each other. Rain's really picking up. Yeah. We have to lean on each other pretty hard. And sometimes that lean gets to be a push. You know what I mean? I don't know, what do you think? I mean, that's a good way to put it. And I think that's what teamwork and partnership is all about is being able to lean on each other and to push each other appropriately. And you are honest and you're open. And that's one of the things I was most attracted to you about in the beginning. And I think it got to a point where sometimes it may be too honest or too open, but I needed to be able to take that in as positive feedback and positive criticism for us to, to be better and stronger yeah. together. So what we had, which kind of drove our relationship apart, guys, were communication issues more than anything. It wasn't big ticket issues. Uh, she didn't cheat on me, I didn't cheat on her. It wasn't really big ticket issues, but it got to the point where I think you were afraid to be truthful with me and I couldn't take that at all. And I don't know, I don't know. Were you afraid to be truthful with me sometimes thinking that the repercussions behind telling the truth? I don't know, tell me. Uh, at Tell everybody. <laughs> at times, I think that's that's a fair way to have put it. I think I got to the point where I we were trying to do things together and trying to do things perfectly, and your way of doing things and my way of doing things were different at times, and I think that's okay. It makes us stronger when we use that for positive feedback. But I think I got to the point where I, I didn't want to disappoint you, and I wanted you to love me and be proud of me, and I didn't want you to come home to say, if I broke a glass, I didn't want you to come home to a broken glass or anything bad. I wanted it to be just right, and I guess I got to the point where I didn't let you walk through the door and say, honey, I broke a glass today. I didn't want you to be upset with me, so I didn't want no. you to see that as trust issues. Well, nobody but... wants to walk through the door and say, hey, honey, I, hey, by the way, today I tore up the washing machine and the dryer. I put a box of rocks in the dryer. You know, nobody wants to hear that. Yeah. And that's not the case, but... No, it's know. not. I think, I think, like you said in the beginning, it was just a lot of little things that built up for both of us and it was how we decided to deal with that um, and I think today we still have little issues that we yeah. are working on to get but we're working on it together and at the end of the day we talk about it we don't go to sleep until we both talk it through or we take a time out and we figure it out together yeah and then we move on that's it so now guys Mrs. Stony Ridge is back here on the farm she's not living on the farm with me she has her own apartment everything we're dating working on projects together and we're making a go of it so I don't think you can blame us for doing that we love each other we care about each other very deeply um, and don't cry <laughs> um, but it, you know <laughs> life just wasn't the same without her and I think she feels the same way so um, We'll let you know. We'll keep you updated as we work on more and more projects. She's been out in the flower beds here working. She's been doing a lot of stuff where before she really didn't do a whole lot of, uh, I don't know, outdoor stuff as much as you've done in the last few weeks, right? 
Yeah, and I, I think while I was gone, I traveled. I went to all these different places to find something that meant something and that was whole. And yeah. there's nothing better than just getting my hands in the dirt and being outside. And that's what I crave more than anything. And yeah. being here and just being a part of things. We told you early on and you understood. And now you really understand <laughs> that you've been gone for a year that we live differently. When you have a property like this, you have a farm, you have what we have going on here we live differently we don't need to keep up with the joneses we're not bringing people to our house and showing them our eighteen thousand dollar kitchen table you know we're building it we're right. making it right. and that's what we need to remember uh, and i know she works in an atmosphere with a lot of folks that are very well educated i have a college degree myself um i don't and i don't think you find value in the things that you have so much as the things that you learn, build, and know. And that's what living on a farm is all about. I agree. About the things you care about. I agree. And at the end of the day, being able to look outside the front door and see everything that you've done and you've accomplished and you've worked so hard for. Yeah. And and that was missing. No matter where I traveled, what I bought, it, it, it was still empty. My heart and soul was still empty. Yeah. And stuff. Just stuff. So. We talked about this the other day. Your stuff ends up owning you. It's why it's called possessions, because they possess you. What, I want a, I want a two word answer, one or okay. two word answer. Uh -huh. What is your favorite thing about being back? You don't have to make two words. What's your favorite thing, favorite part about being back here? Well, my, oh, there's so many things, you. I okay. love you more than anything okay, in the world. Okay, number one, number two. <laughs> um, and, What's your and favorite just my part heart, of the farm? My soul. Um, my favorite part of the farm is, it just it feels like home. It feels right. It's everything that we've worked so hard for, and just being able to come out and get a, get away from the craziness of the city and the world. And it's just, it's our home. And it's peaceful and it's beautiful. And yeah, the, the animals. The, just being able to live a, a wholesome life. That's something that we've created and worked so hard for. There you go. Well, guys, thanks a lot for joining us today. We owed you this talk. You've seen Mrs. Stony Ridge or Miss Stony Ridge in a few videos, kind of pop in and pop out. And I think it was high time we decided yeah. that we had a little talk with you. We're going to go shoot a live stream. We've got to move the cows in about 20 minutes here mm -hmm. in the rain, which would be really awesome. Uh, <laughs> but you guys will be seeing this after the fact. We'll give you a little more explanation as time goes on and as things continue to persevere i hope mm -hmm. yep all right good job today <laughs> thank you see you guys have a great day bye Woo. Woo come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we're living life pure and sweet that's the way it's supposed to be stony ridge Woo. edna <laughs> be quiet edna's getting rain now and crank right here do I have this on backwards? What in the world have I got going on? Okay. Now, oh, here we go.